Ta Kwando there from Chika Chikumari J Sport Foundation, a big one at the National Stadium over the weekend. Um, uh, it's uh, actually uh, time to talk about sports on the show. Sports update on Trust TV. Um, at Deni Aji Shafe. We look at those three trending in the world of sports as we give you those updates. Really, sport is getting juicier because of activities always breaking out. We start with volleyball. Nigerian volleyball team, uh, they will be going right now, going to uh, Cameroon for the competition that will be coming up there. We are their coach, uh, Coach Ajayi on Ville squad for 2023 African Women's Championship. The ladies will be going to Cameroon to compete there. Hopefully, they will do just like their handball team did. They digress for Falcons by winning the trophy. They are right now being, uh, being unveiled. The squad that will be playing in that competition. Hopefully, our team will do well in this volleyball competition. African 2023 African Women's Championship uh, taking place in Cameroon. Let's look at the list of players here, marked by the coach, Coach Ajaye there. We have Achi Sharon from Nigerian Civil Defense Corps team, Aliyat Usman from Chief of Naval Staff Spikers, Vanessa Okeke, uh, Benway Queens, Comfort Amowu, that's from Civil Defense, Ijio Maupabi, Chief of Army Staff Spikers, Happy Wuchilang from Civil Defense, Deborah Chuku, Chief of Army Staff Spikers, Sandra Ozabo, who also played for Civil Defense, Blessing Onkwe, and the same teammate, Kelechi Undukauba, and you have uh, Albertina Francis, Jumai Beatrice, uh, the coaches, you have uh, Samuel Ajayi and Johanna Suevini, who, are, who actually is the assistant coach, the two coaches will be tinkering the tank of that team there, as the fighters uh, over there in Cameroon for the 2023 African Women's Volleyball Championship that will be coming up there. Hopefully, they will come back with the trophy. Uh, we just saw how our ladies did well in handball over there in Cote d'Ivoire. And now we have our set, another set of Nigerians in Yaoundé, Cameroon. They are ready to fight against all other Af African nations they will be facing in this volleyball competition. We expect that they will come back with good news uh, from that particular competition up there. Well, good one. Uh, as we talk about volleyball, well, their coach, Coach Ajayi has marked 12 players that will be fighting hard for Nigeria there. Good one there. Now we move away from volleyball. Let's talk about athletics. News came out recently that Toby Amusha has been cleared uh, by the AIU, but right now AIU has come out to refute that particular claim. Uh, athletics uh, Integrity Unit says Toby Amusha not cleared yet. What Alex actually said that because of the news that came out, according to them, listing her in that particular list just provisional uh, until she clears herself concerning the suspension. Uh, from the AIU Athletic Integrity Unit. The competition will be starting on 19, and Nigerians can't wait to see Toby Amushon getting cleared from this particular allegation, although it's still an alleged issue, issue there. We just hope that she can get herself cleared and they'll be able to compete for Nigeria at the World Athletics in Budapest. Hopefully, she can do it to defend uh, the race she won last season or last year for the fact that she was able to win that race, becoming world champion in 100 meter hurdles for women. Nigerians are also hoping that she will get that particular nod to compete, being one of the brightest hope for Nigeria athletics at the Budapest 2023 that will be coming up in Hungary. So it's high time Nigerians should just uh, keep up from this statement that she has been cleared. She is yet to be cleared until uh, the AIU Athletic Integrity Unit deem it fit to clear to be a Muslim there. We just hope that she will get cleared according to how we all hope in Nigeria. From there, let's see, talk about the athletics. The World Athletics, uh, they will be giving a lot of prizes uh, to all those that win in this competition. But for Team Nigeria or all the other teams that participate, if they do well by winning gold, they will be going home with 53.8 million Naira. That is in Naira version for gold in Budapest. So Team Nigeria should work hard to win gold medals in that competition. Let's look at the category categories of how that money has been at least uh, uh, slashed out. For gold in individual event, you have to win, you'll be getting $17,000. That's the amount we mentioned earlier. 53 million if you win gold individual in individual event are uh, coming from what athletic championship prize money silver thirty five thousand dollars half of the money i bronze you go for twenty two thousand dollars fourth place sixteen thousand fifth place eleven thousand and six seven and eight we go for seven thousand six thousand and five thousand respectively so even if you come last you still get to win five thousand dollars but it's always good to be at the top to win seventy thousand dollars if anyone that wins gold there. So for Team Nigeria, in individual races, if they are able to gather or win 
gold. They will go home with 53 million naira in conversion. That's a big one that will really motivate our athletes to do well in this competition. Let's look at the relay team race. Uh, races that will be coming up in relays per team. For gold, it's going to be $80,000. I extract 10000 added to that for the quartet that wins gold in high, that's 4 by 100 meter relay race or all the other relay races, be it missed relays or even 4 by 4 For silver, it's going to be $40,000. For bronze, 20. Fourth place, you go for 16. Fifth, 12. And you have to between 6 to 8, getting 8, 6, and $4,000 as a team event. So if they are able to win the competition, talking about gold, for example, Nigeria and Team Nigeria winning 4 by 100 or 4 by 4 or missed relay, they will go home with 80 thousand dollars that would be a good one if our teams can come back with this uh, uh gold medals at least over there are the what at least they'll be coming up in a couple of days to come over there in budapest hungary for the world Athletics Nigeria will be competing in uh, different uh, uh, sets of competition over there in Budapest, in athletics, in different categories. And we hope that they can come back home with lots of gold medal for us there. Well, good one for them. And now we move away from athletics as we talk about basketball. Just uh, today, the pre-qualifier will be starting over there in Lagos by 6 p.m. And right now, the big thing is the fact that uh, Uganda and Congo, they've opted out from this competition due to financial issues the race that concerns and that's why they actually opted out from the competition but right now FIBA says they could sanction them DR Congo Uganda after pulling out from Lagos qualifiers for the fact that uh, it was so close uh, before they met uh, they actually released that particular statement for backing out from that uh, pre-qualifier uh, tournament that will be coming up in Lagos tonight. In a couple of uh, minutes to come, they will be playing that game and Nigeria will be facing Senegal. But for Uganda and DR Congo, who actually opted out, they just have to be ready because FIBA might just sanction them for the fact that uh, they actually move out uh, so late. Well, that's it. Uh, talking about basketball, well, hopefully Nigeria will do well against Senegal and also do well against Mali. Well, Nigeria, Mali, Senegal, Tunisia, uh, Cameroon will all be competing in the remaining six nations that will be fighting for honors in the FIBA uh, uh, pre-Olympic qualifiers that will be coming up there in Lagos. Well, we just have to quickly go on a short break to let you have uh, at least uh, a clear of a traditional sport called Dembe for you. <laughs>
Back on the show, sports update. A tough one there. Traditional <laughs> boxing, a uh, very tough one. Zambe, looking at those guys is always very interesting. Watching our own sport. Quickly, let's give you more updates. We we'll start uh, we look, talk about uh, Manchester United. They will be playing against Wolverhampton Wanderers. A big one tonight. That match will be coming up at Old Trafford. Who wins this game uh, right now? Looking at the fact that the two teams are fired up to see who wins this particular game. They really want to be among the top uh, clubs to win after the season actually opened over there in England. That's a match that we, a lot of people want to see tonight. And also, La Liga will be coming up. Let's look at some fixtures in La Liga where matches will be played. Cadiz against Alaves, while Granada play away to Atletico Madrid at uh, the stadium called Estadio Wanda Metropolitano. Those are the games that will be coming up in Spanish La Liga fixtures. And quickly, before we, uh, we go, let's run through some transfer stories. Uh, just to give you an update there. Right now, Real Madrid have got the man they've been looking for after the injury that uh, they have goalkeeper Couture sustained. They got Kepa Arizabalaga on loan. He will be joining them from Chelsea. What a big way to go for Kepa Arizabalaga. A new chapter has been opened for him. Even though he's on loan, if he can perform very well, who knows? Maybe they can make it permanent for Real Madrid. 
at least they got someone to cover up for Thibaut Couture, who is right now injured for good one season. And now we'll talk about other ones. Audio Igalo set uh, to join Saudi club uh, Al Veda on free transfer. Well, Igalo, formerly with Al Hilal, right now, he could be joining Al Veda on free transfer any moment. Uh, from the news we're featuring in, that uh, the Nigerian striker is really edging closer to sign with Al Veda over there in Saudi Arabia. Pro League, one for Audio Gallo, who has become a master when it comes to joining in a big money move there. Quickly, we talk about Mbappe, Kylian. Kylian Mbappe actually sat out in that game between PSG over there uh, in the weekend. But right now, uh, he's back to the team. He has been uh, called back to training and likely to stay at PSG from the way it is. And this came out that maybe he could be leaving and the likes of Chelsea, Liverpool, Real Madrid, all hoping that they can sign him. But really, for Mbappe and PSG is a big one because PSG hierarchy were not too happy for the fact that uh, they wanted uh, him to be sold. And the man right now, well, from the way it is, he really doesn't want to go on the big money. He wants to go on free transfer. Real Madrid could be calling next season. Yeah, actually, he wanted to move to Chelsea. But let's see when it can still happen before the end of the transfer window. But for now, Mbappe is back uh, to training over there in PSG. Still talking more on transfer. Tottenham all spoke on really move for Arsenal for Larry Balogun to replace Harry Kane. Harry Kane has his move to join Bayern Monique Bade in German Bundesliga and Tottenham Sport are considering going for uh, Folari Balogun. Some even mentioned uh, even Nigerian uh, player Oban Gift who, who could also be joining them. But Folari Balogun, let's see, maybe he'll be relocating from the same uh, London city to Tottenham Sport. Liverpool, Bayern Monique, PSG, Kino and PSV are in the home defensive midfielder. Ibrahim Sangare, they want to go for the African player Ibrahim Sangare to see how they can get him and if everything goes well, between the three teams who will be fighting for him, one of them will actually sign Ibrahim Sangari. Ajax are set to sign forward Shuba Akpom from Middlesbrough for £10 million. Pounds. Ajax, uh, the team that plays over there, the Dutch Eredivisie, they want to go for the Middlesbrough player who really right now is being waged uh, right now, looking at for £10 million. Pounds. If everything goes well, he could be putting pen to paper to join Ajax Amsterdam. While City to move for Michael Oli of Crystal Palace. If they fail to sign Lucas Paqueta from West Ham, uh, Manchester City are really shown interest in Paqueta, but if everything doesn't go well, they quickly move for Michael Olise of Crystal Palace, talking about uh, the man of the moment, Pep Guardiola, who really know his own when it comes to football, he might be going in for Michael Olise. And the last one says, uh, Liverpool to match Chelsea's offer of £55 million pounds for Southampton midfielder Romeo Lavia. Considering what Chelsea did to Liverpool, Liverpool came up with 111 million pounds for Moise Caicedo. Uh, they couldn't get it because the man wants Chelsea. He prefers to play for Chelsea. And now Chelsea, they've agreed a deal of 115 million pounds for Caicedo. So Liverpool have to go for Romeo Lavia, who Chelsea offered 55 million pounds for. And if everything goes well, Liverpool should be able to get this from Southampton. Well, uh, it's a big race between Liverpool and Chelsea this season after that matter ended 1 1 between the two teams there. That's it on Sport Update. We'll be giving you an update in the world of sport. As we always say to you, that sport is fitness and business. I'm Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.